Hey there, it's Boots on here. This is a Dyson DC33 vacuum cleaner. It's uh, it's pretty grubby. I'm gonna have a look at how to clean the canister today. Completely strip it down, take it apart, and clean it up. So, up on top there's this red button. Let's press that, that releases the canister. This one I think has been sitting out in the rain. Just for looks, there's a filter in here. Let's just have a check of that first. Actually looks on the top pretty clean, pretty black on the outside. So that's uh, black dust that really does need a clean. I think we can clean that, but it might just be better on this one to buy a new one. And then here, there's another filter in here. And this one's soaking wet, which is always a good sign. And the filter itself has completely come apart and is all wet. So yeah, that would be worth replacing if we decide to go ahead with this. And then on the outside, this little thing here, that's the uh, pressure switch, or not pressure switch, but pressure valve. So if the machine's blocked, that blows off. I wonder if this actually come apart, because I think, I suspect that could just be cleaned. Uh, thrown in a washing machine. There's some instructions there. Yeah, I wonder, could we clean that? I might give that a clean in another video. Have a look around my channel and see what you think. But for today, the item in question is the dust canister. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, to open that, you press this button here, that opens that. Once that's down, once this red bit's down, you can press this button here. Little grey button in, and that lets you wrangle this thing off. This is all wet and sticky, I'm going to put this straight into the sink and let it soak. Okay, so what you see here, this white stuff is probably plaster, that's typically what happens with these things. People try and use them to clean up after building work, they get plaster in them and that clogs up and stops performance. So, to get in, we've got to take off this yellow top. For that, we need a torque screw. This one's T15, TX15. Just take out all the screws all the way around. And when I'm done doing that, there's a spring in here. We've got to be careful about this spring. And there's another screw in underneath here. So this is the last screw. And this top should lift off. Yeah. Just like that, and it's pretty dirty. So it'll get a clean. Then in here, there's another seven screws. I'll get them out. So there's the seven screws out, but I've noticed here, there's a bit of stuff stuck in the, in one of these ports. I don't know what it is. Let's see if I can poke it out. It'll come out with that gasket. So take off this plastic cover here, and there's a gasket beneath it. And we'll see what that is. I think it's actually part of the machine that's gotten stuck. So we've got fluff stuck in under there. I think that is actually the bit around it. So it's eaten itself here. That's not a great sign. Uh, there's bits of stuff stuck underneath all of these. There's stuff stuck in there. But uh, we'll, we'll have a look. Let's we'll take this gasket off. Uh oh, let's clean it off in the. The water. I don't think you can buy these. You can see it's it's been quite well worn all around the edge and all it well almost all of them. No, they all have somewhere. Right. Okay. The other thing we can see if we look down these ports, they all have a little ball of fluff in them. But they also are choked up with dust. So if I do that. That's the dust out of one. So these are all, like that one there, it's almost completely blocked. This one's open. That one may be the one that uh, had the top blocked, so it wasn't getting any air through it anyways. But the remainder of them, they're all quite blocked. So, before I take the rest of it apart, I have to take out this little red thing here. It slides up, and it's got a spring that wants to cause it to turn. And that's important to remember later on. We're putting it back together. See this little tab here? On the spring, it's on this side of the red thing, causing it to rotate outwards. And it goes in, there's a little tab on the other end of it as well, that slides in that groove down in the back there. So that, we'll need to remember that when we're putting it back together. Now that I am in here, there's a couple of gaskets and things, but the difficult bit now is these plastic tabs. Some of these Dysons are screwed together, some of them have these plastic tabs, and some of them don't have any tabs, just have a snap ring. But I have to release this bit here from inside somehow. And it's not going to be easy. I can take off this gasket, do that. 
I can take off this gasket, might as well, because it all needs to be cleaned. This one's wet and sticky, and that is gross. This bit here can be removed. I wonder if that's the first thing I can do. So if I put my hand here to push away, and then with this finger tucked in, pull it towards me. Yeah, one, two, you see these little plastic things here, little slots. Three, there's a fourth, and sometimes the first one, maybe there's five, I don't know. That's it. No, there's only four, so it went around. And you can see how much crud's stuck in there, that's all dust. Just caught on it with static. You can see those ports pretty blocked up, and you see the dust falling out there below. So that's both gross and needs to be cleaned. So then, let's see. I need to get in here somehow and lift this piece up relative to this piece. But it's uh, it's easier said than done. So I'm gonna see if I can go in sideways. It's very hard to do this without damaging the plastic. You'll put little kind of stress marks on the plastic like that. I haven't found a better way of doing it. But I will try. Oh dear. There we go, that's two of them. It takes quite a bit of force, this. There is the risk then as well that the screwdriver is gonna go through your paw. So trying to get the screwdriver under, twist and push at the same time, way easier said than done. break the top but you really do need to get in here to clean it out properly let's try a slightly bigger screwdriver I don't know if this will make any difference or if it'll do more damage There we go. The last one's the hardest because all the pressure then is on it. Now in here we've got a gross mixture of hair and snots and stuff caught in there. So soak it, wash it, clean it down. Yeah, gross. So you can see now better here um, which one's clear. This one's almost clear. They have dirt on the outside and on the inside. So there's the inside there. Plaster dust, it's the end of these. I'll give these a wash in the sink. Standard washing up liquid for doing your dishes and uh, just a bit of warm water and a brush and that'll clean them down. Absolutely gross. Oh, careful. There's another spring here I've just noticed on that little gray thing. When you take that apart, you need to get that out. You don't necessarily need to take the grey bit off because it snaps in place, but the spring, you need to keep an eye on it just so that it doesn't get away. Let's give them a wash, come back and tidy up, put it back together. Okay then, back together. Yeah, this one goes in here, forgot about that. So this gasket should have gone in. It's just a neoprene gasket, I think. It's very light. If it's not in there, you won't get proper, proper sealing. back together again there we go four this little spring go okay then this is the funny bit this is where these gaskets were damaged 
actually what I should do is put it on here first push it down onto these little holes little tubes that's it put this on here I'll put the screws in the center so they're all together and this one goes on and this is time for the spring so just trying to remember how to do this now put the spring in first in the slot and wind it around and put it in I'll do that one more time Oops. So I put the spring in the slot, the little tab on the end of the spring goes into that slot, wind it around, push it down, and that's it. Then the top goes on, and that red bit has to line up with that thing, and you just check that it works. And that's it. That's kind of the most critical part of the whole job here, really. I'll put in the remainder of the screws. So there's the screws back in. I'm pretty sure I put this gasket on the wrong way around. So I'll flip it over. Because what happens is when you put the plastic thing up from below, if I had it the way it was, the fin would get caught. So the fin is now that way. So let's put this back together. Red meets red. A little gray tab in there. Clicks in like that. And that's it snapped on. And then, Bottom clicks on, let's check the operation there. That's fine. So, that's it. Dyson DC33 canister, good to go again.